Veteran shop. This is like a dream come true. This is awesome. All right. What window do we got? I need to turn my graphics. Bullshit going on. I don't know much appreciate it. Okay, we got the dead end. That's good. What in the fuck even is my frame rate right now? I'm upset. I'm upset. Can I please quote Whiplash? Because I am upset. Is there a pallet here? No, there is not. Just ran right at me. Thank you. Kindly. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. He fucked up on the school bus. You gotta be kidding me. How'd he even do that? One. Just the one. Leon went this way. Is he in the distance over there? No, he's not. So this guy's running this way. There he is. Hi. I'm going to shoot if he's nowhere. This makes me have to reload. Who the care? Who the fuck cares? Not who the cares. Wow, you remember pretty well. What if I faked that? Then you fuck up. Yeah. You see, walls are pretty small, so any shooting around them is gonna be mostly pointless because the distance is basically lunge distance. They're more like combat training T walls, which I can appreciate, but. I, pre I, pre I would much like the uh, the double wide ones on like Dead Dog and Cold Wind. Not bad. Everybody look away. I swear I'm good at Death Slinger. Oh, look at that one. Wow, she compensated without even seeing me. She's not looking where she's going. And she... <laughs> Why the fuck are you doing? I am so confused by you. You are a different breed. <laughs> she dies before she could, even see, she could even see me. She has no confidence in her looping capabilities. And it's just like... Ah. No self... No... Pers spatial awareness. An awareness of my proximity. He's just kind of going for it. I don't know why you guys keep running in this direction. There's nothing here. Oh, this D-Wall. Or, uh... Long Wall. Not getting to use my goddamn gun. I'm so upset. Hello, Cheryl. Mason. I'm gonna pop your gun. How do you feel about that? I'm gonna run to the school bus. That is an accurate reaction. You're gonna run past the school bus and just go for distance, which means I am done chasing you. <laughs> right then and there. Okay, watch this shit. Easy. Get outplayed, son. And eat a stun from falling. Unless he had balanced. I wonder if balance triggers if you're chained. Where the fuck did you go? Oh, Iron Will Gamer. I got outplayed. Okay. Apparently she got really fucked up by that little run I did. So we got somebody playing Shaq. I didn't get to use my patented technique, the brub tech. I have several brub techs that I have not made legal at this point. I really need to get those patented. What was originally the Brub Tech, and I was going to make a video on it, but I decided against it because I didn't want to play Freddy anymore. There's a tech on Freddy where if you uh, grab a gen within the first 10 or so frames of loading into the match, you can jelleport to it. I'm going to call that the Brub Tech. But I kind of like this one better. My own little Brub Tech for Death Singer. Not even really anything special, but... If one of them's gonna be Breb Tech, I would like it to be this one because I play way more at that singer. And I'm way better at that singer. Because Freddy's not really a skill based killer. 
I will stand by my previous point that there is some finesse to this, or, uh, Freddy. Overall, not the most taxing killer in terms of mental capacity and planning awareness. You just kind of put a snare, double back, put another one, and then win. <laughs> wow. I don't know what happened there. Maybe I just straight up missed by an inch. Do an awkward angle. I'm going to make it work there. Works, I guess. Just give me the kill. Yeah, you never want to be in a situation like that. It's just over. This guy did a smart move by going over here. But he also died pretty quickly, so. Maybe, like, don't get caught here for a really long time in this corner where I can easily just kind of sit here until you fuck up. Just three people? It is. Holy shit. Nice play, my dude. Can we stay here? Wow. Holy shit. I need to give you an award for largest misplayed shack in Dead by Daylight history. What the fuck was that? You know, let's keep the pallet here. I'm gonna show that Slinger is one of the only killers that can outplay Shack Pallet. I'm pretty sure there's someone here. Yes, there is. But please stay here. I won't kick it, I promise. We're gonna do an experiment. Let's see how long it can last. But it will not keep you safe. Just take my time, because you're fucked up. You can only not outplay Goldwyn Shack because you can actually hide behind that and Goldwyn. But every other Shack, especially McMillan Shack, because there's this barred door window right here that you can just shoot right the hell through and win. You can completely bypass the Shack pallet entirely by that by shooting through the little slits when they walk through the pallet and then walk over to the window and hit him. It is the best time in the world to play on to play on the McMillan Shack. McMillan Shack in general, my favorite. It's that slinger. This is why I think they should make a Macmillan playlist of maps if they ever want to launch this game into like Call of Duty esque glory. Just make a playlist where it's only the five Macmillan maps. The players can do normal queue times or Macmillan 24 7 or whatever the fuck. Kind of like how they have Nuke Nuke Down 24 7 playlists in uh, Call of Duty. I would literally always play that. I'm sure a lot of people would play it too, because those are the most balanced maps. Like, people like Coal Tower, people like Suffocation Pit, people like Groaning, people really like Groaning Storehouse if you're a survivor main. I would play those. I would play that. Let me know if you would play that, because I would play that. Make me one 24-7. It's a great idea. Make a cold one 24-7. Those three traditional maps. Obviously, you'd have to, like... Make sure people play them, but I think a Macmillan 24-7 plays out of all of them is the best idea. And then maybe just like only fractured cow shed. <laughs> if uh killers really want to test their their skill. Wow. Just straight ass stopped. That was good. That was really good. You probably didn't even know I was there. But I really want that. I'm really adamant about a new er, new town. I'm still on the on the references of Call of Duty. That is the number one thing I want in the game right now. Map playlists. Let's do it. There's enough people playing the game right now. I think this will be great. Someone get that on Matthew Cote's desk right this fucking instant or I'm going to have an aneurysm. Because it is a fantastic idea. There, she was right here. Uh, but the only two killers that can outplay Shaq Pout are... Actually, there's three. Um, Deathslinger. Nurse and 
technically trap or can trap check power. Hi. Why don't you come with me? Am I running into something? Can you look behind me? Tell me if I'm running into anything. Oh. Tile here. Where am I? Is this the gate? Nope. Where the fuck am I? Am I in a four lane? And that's a T wall. A oh, wall. Long wall, short wall. Yeah. Okay. Open it. My words are not good because I'm tired and it's late, so forgive me. That was my Death Slinger. I think that was a pretty good display. I really would have liked more Shack action. If anyone wants to 1v1 me at Shack, Macmillan Shack. Um, my Steam name is Brub52. Just go ahead and send me a friend request. I'll accept you. And just let me know you want to 1v1 me at Macmillan Shack. And I will do that all day. Because I, I still want to challenge myself. And I want to get to the point where I can... Go this way, running Shaq, just shoot right here, and then you completely outplay Shaq all the time. I want to get to that point. The point when I can do that is when I will say I've officially mastered Deathslinger. Because that is awesome. I've done it a few times, but it's still very hard. That was my Deathslinger. Hope you guys enjoyed.